What's up guys? Welcome back to DCS World. Welcome back aboard the Hornet and aboard the USS John C. Stennis for a quick tutorial video. One thing we haven't covered yet for the Hornet is carrier operations. So we're going to start today with uh, the probably the simplest part of it all and that's carrier startup, taxi, and takeoff. So we're in a cold and dark jet. We've gone through the cold and dark startup procedure for the Hornet, so I'm not going to uh, rehash too much. I'm just going to pop through some things here, do a somewhat of an abbreviated startup here, and just do the things that I normally do. The one thing that I do need to point out, once the right engine is up and running, is that the INS alignment is going to be a little bit different once we're on engine power. Also, you might notice that our wings are currently folded. So that's something we're going to have to bear in mind in a moment as well. And just doing some things that I would normally do, getting my jet set up how I like. All right, we're on engine power now. Turning my data link and stuff on. Now we can set our radar to operational. And here's the big difference. For the INS knob down here, normally on the ground, we would set it to ground, GND, but we're going to set it to CV or carrier. So if we set that and we take a look down here at our HSI, Notice it says CVRF. What this is enabling it to do is the jet is now connected to the carrier's own navigation system and is going to download INS and GPS data rather than having to rely on its own system. And uh, in normal circumstances, this alignment would be a heck of a lot faster than it would normally be on the ground. Do bear in mind now that in... Uh, as of February of 2020, the Hornet's INS is still not fully implemented, so some of this is not true to real life as to how fast it's going. In fact, if you notice, we're already fully aligned, so that's perfectly good. So we can actually go ahead and flip that over to nav already. Let me go ahead and get my other engine started. We'll reset our FCS just like we normally do. Hit our trim. Dismiss the bit failures. Navigate to the FCS page. We'll uncage our standby attitude indicator. Uncage our radar altimeter. Dismiss the master caution and we'll close the canopy. Okay. Now with our jet aligned and our, let's get our OBOGs on, let's not uh, suffocate. With our jet aligned and both engines started, we're now ready to taxi to one of the catapults. However, before we do, we need to contact the ground crew and ask them to remove the wheel chocks. So let me just go to an external view real quick. In a cold started Hornet on the carrier, you start with these wheel chocks in place that are supposed to keep you from rolling around on the deck. So we need to have the ground crew remove these before we can actually taxi and take off. So we're going to go to our comms menu, ground crew, wheel chocks, and remove. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. Copy. Wheel chocks are now removed. Okay, wheel chocks are removed, so we can disengage our parking brake. And with our wings still folded, we're going to go nose wheel steering high. And we're going to turn sharply this way to line up with, let's line up with catapult 2, which is this one right here in front of us. Let's get that as lined up as possible. Right about there, step on the brakes. 
If you're not sure if your front nose uh, wheel is lined up with the catapult shuttle, you can just cheat and take a look. I could probably stand to accelerate forward about a few feet. Because we want our nose wheel to be right about there. So you can see our nose wheel is about there and the catapult shuttle is right about there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to lower our launch bar. So if we look over here, right underneath the gear handle, right next to the flap handle, we've got a launch bar lever. So we're going to extend this. Okay. Launch bar is coming down. Notice the launch bar is now on the ground. Next, we need to hit our U key on the keyboard. That's going to hook us up to the catapult. So as you can see, we are now hooked up to the catapult. Okay. Now that we're hooked up to the catapult, the blast deflectors have also raised on the deck of the carrier. Back into the cockpit now. We could take off, but we're not going to get very far because our wings are still folded. So what we need to do is look down here below the hook lever. There's the wing fold lever. We're going to flip that to the spread position. And as you notice, our wings are now unfolding. And once they are unfolded, we can go down here and use our mouse wheel to pop that into the lock position. That's going to lock the wings in the unfolded position. We now also need to verify that our flaps are set to half. And we need to set more up trim than we normally would if we were taking off from the field. So it's going to be a case of how heavy you are. So let's uh, take a look at our checklist page real quick. We're currently at 41,900 pounds. So by that, we are going to want about 18 degrees nose up trim. So. It's, uh, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can post the link to it from the Nate Ops, uh, but there are weight ranges that correspond to exactly how much nose up trim you need. So we're looking at our FCS page here. I'm going to apply with, um, let's see here. We're going to go with 18 degrees nose up. Okay. Rough, maybe seven. We'll go with 17. 18 is a little accent, uh, excessive. Uh, basically, above 40 some odd thousand pounds, you want 17, th uh, 17 degrees nose up. Above about 45,000 pounds, I believe it is, you want 18. And then if you're at near maximum takeoff weight, you want as much as 19 degrees nose up trim. But with our trim set, let's bring up our HUD repeater here. Let's uh, close that uh, there so it's not in our face. Got our HUD repeater. Just a quick cross check. We're in nav mode, radar operational. Wings are f wings are extended. Trim set for takeoff. Flaps set to half. We are good to launch, so we can call Stennis Traffic Cat Two Shooter. And um, normally the deck crew would give us the shooter signal, but all we need to do is advance the throttles to full afterburner. And after a couple of seconds here, we've been thrust off the front of the deck. So we're going to quickly raise the gear and bring the flaps up to auto. And we have just launched from the carrier. So that is a quick little look at the carrier startup, taxi, and takeoff. And uh, in the next one, we'll actually learn how to land on the carrier. But for now, enjoy flying around and launching from the carrier and um, get used to the procedures. And I'll see you for the next video. Take care.